Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a great time to be in the presence of God tonight. I want to welcome everyone for coming. I want to welcome you for coming into tonight's prayer, midnight of fire and power. And I know that the Lord Almighty is here in our midst and is going to answer our prayers as he has always done. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we begin tonight, let us just bow our heads for the word of prayer. Our Lord and our God, we bless you once again tonight. We thank you for what you did in the morning. We thank you for what you're going to do tonight. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for the yokes that you have broken. We thank you for the yokes that you are going to break tonight. We thank you for the dominion you are going to give to us. For the authority we are going to receive tonight. Lord, to you be all the glory. To you be all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come before the throne of grace. And we ask as we come to your presence. Lord, may you... Give yes to our request in the name of Jesus. As we have come to your presence, Lord, we pray, may we not be a castaway in the mighty name of Jesus. And every word of our mouth tonight, Lord, you will sanction it in the mighty name of Jesus. You will authorize it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we continue, let's just listen to this wonderful number, wonderful song, and I know it's going to bless someone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeshua! Lion of Judah, Akune Chemba, Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Akune Chemba.
Glory to God, glory to God. Praise the Lord. You're welcome once again. You're welcome once again to our midst. God bless you as you have come. God bless you as you have come. Tonight, we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying uh, about what God has given to us tonight. And that is dominion. Dominion. That's what we're going to be praying about. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want to quickly enlighten us about dominion so that we'll know what we are praying about. I want to enlighten us about dominion so that we know what we are praying about. The, this is what the Lord gave to us early in the morning, this morning, and we are here to continue tonight because, you know, on Sunday service, sometimes we may not have enough time to pray, to express our mind, to seek the face of God as the way we should. That is why God has given us the mandate to come again tonight, to come and pray our way into dominion. And I know that tonight we are going to have dominion over every situation, over every pending situation, over every life that are, that are struggling. We are going to have dominion tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are going to subdue. That is the promise of God for us. And in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, the Bible says, And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. One thing that the Lord gave to me here now, is that now before god gave commandment or gave the authority or gave the dominion or gave the command to man god had already created adam and eve god had created them and he has said to them hey guys i can't just create you here without giving you something that will make you superior hallelujah god is telling someone tonight he has created you he has put you where you are so that you can rule so that you can dominate so that you can have authority but for some reason you still feel the authority is not being you know exercised the dominionship you are not feeling it for some reason you just feel nothing is happening for some reason you are struggling for some reason you are trusting god that dominionship that authority is gone but tonight god has given us the mandate to remind you he said i am the god of all flesh is there anything difficult for me to do no way remember adam was there and he was just there he had everything to himself but he didn't realize he had the authority until god came and said i have blessed you you must be fruitful you must have dominion you must multiply it was after that statement that multiplication came to existence it was after that statement dominion came to came to existence it was that after that statement that he had authority to take fish and kill and eat it was at that point he had the authority to till the ground to find something to eat it was at that time he realized he had, to, he had the authority over everything that god has created so also you are you that you are listening to me everyone of you that are listening to me on facebook on instagram on youtube i have a word of god to you if god would give adam that authority you have the authority tonight in the mighty name of jesus that authority is released upon you in the mighty name of jesus the authority to rule has been given to you in the mighty name of jesus the authority to have dominion is released upon you tonight in the mighty name of jesus Dominion is the birthright of every child of God. Dominion simply means to rule over, to conquer, to subdue, and to control. That's what dominion is all about. We are not meant to be controlled by circumstances. Rather, we are created to take control of that circumstances. Someone is not getting me. You are not created to be controlled by the circumstances you are faced with. But rather, you are created to take control of the circumstances 
and that is why adam was in that garden he didn't realize the authority he had he didn't realize the dominionship that god has placed upon him he didn't realize the authority of god from heaven on his life he didn't realize so also you you are listening to me you may not realize what god has given to you you may not realize the authority you have inside of you you may not realize the challenges that you know you can just flip and they will go away you may not know but i'm here to remind you that god says he has given you that authority that dominion that rulership because you are a child of god but i have something else in case you have not received jesus christ that authority is not for you in case you don't know jesus christ that authority is not for you but i want to quickly give you a chance tonight if you are here and you have not received that jesus but you want to have the authority inside of you but you want to have that rulership inside of you you want to be able to control circumstances not the circumstances controlling you just bow down your heads wherever you are i said lord jesus i come to you as a sinner i confess my sin before you i believe that you died and rose again for my salvation accept me as a son tonight as i continue to live my life lord i want to live it for you come and live inside of me write my name in the book of life erase my name in the book of death and from now henceforth i will serve you in jesus mighty name we are free amen beloved i want to tell you that that is the first step you need to take and you have taken that step and if you're already in faith if you're already in this journey i want to congratulate you but i want to remind you that you are going to pray some certain prayers tonight and i have a word of god to you that you are going to have your dominionship back in the name of jesus you are going to have your authority back in the name of jesus i say you're going to have your that, that situation under control in the mighty name of jesus in the beginning when god created mankind he gave man dominion to 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 rule but man lost that dominionship to the devil man lost it man lost it as a result of that man was dominated by the devil from the time of adam to the time of christ man was dominated but well, thanks be to god the father of our lord jesus christ that has given us all things he has given us all things the bible says why we are yet sinner christ died for us that is why christ came to take away that rulership of devil and give us his own rulership and give us his own authority he said at the mention of the name of jesus every knee shall bow what else do you need what else do you need what else do you need you don't need anything you don't need anybody but all you need is your mouth now all you need is your heart i want you to begin to appreciate god i said father i thank you for this authority you have given to me father i thank you for the privilege because i know it's a privilege to be called your son and daughter it's a privilege to be known to you it's a privilege to be associated associated with you. It's a privilege to know your God. Father, I want to thank you. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. I say, Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you all the glory. Lord, I give you all the honor. Lord, I adore your name because you are worthy to be praised. Thank you for your grace. 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 Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We exalt your holy name. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you for this authority. Lord, I thank you for this grace, O God. Lord, I thank you for this dominion that I have received. Lord, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to appreciate God. I say, Father, I thank you for the authority you have received, for this grace to be called your son, for this grace that I have received. Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. I appreciate God. 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 He is worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lord, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Take all the glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You're going to thank God once again. I say, Father, I thank you for this great salvation because I'm not taking it for granted. There are so many people that want to assess. They want to assess the name of Jesus, but they could not. That's right. The Bible says, for as many as have received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons and daughters of God. Because you have received him, you have to appreciate him. For that gift of salvation, for that grace to receive Christ, 
for that grace to receive him and to be associated with him now the name is going to be working for you now that name of jesus will be working for you i should use that name today tonight the bible says there is a name given to him that is above every other name that are the mentioning of the name of jesus every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that jesus is lord in heaven and in heaven everywhere not east west not and south every knee shall confess but first you have to thank god and say father i'm not taking this for granted that hey. gift of salvation lord yes, i thank you open your mind i begin to appreciate god open your mind i begin to appreciate god father i thank you lord i give you praise lord i give you praise thank you father thank you father thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you father father we worship you we give you praise thank you father lord i worship you lord jesus 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 i appreciate God, I appreciate God, I appreciate God, I appreciate God, I appreciate God. Lord, I worship you. 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 Father, I thank you. Be all the glory. Take all the glory. Take all the glory, Lord Jesus. They call the glory, Lord Jesus. They call the glory, Lord Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and praise God. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are here to pray. For some reason, I don't know why God gave me that word yesterday. Now it's, it's now it's now been yesterday. But I want you to pray with all of your heart. It is not by accident that you are here. But the Lord knows. That there is some things you need to take authority over they are not natural they are not physical they are not carnal they are just spiritual the bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers in high places this is the right time to pray this is the right time to pray the second prayer that you're going to take you're going to pray you're going to say father i take authority in the name of jesus and i decree no weapon formed against me shall prosper that in the name of Jesus, every weapon from the gates me that shall not prosper. Take authority now. Begin to open your mouth and take authority. Now, every weapon that is formed against me, every weapon that is formed against me, they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, every weapon that is formed against me, they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, every weapon that is formed against me, they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I take authority. 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 I take authority over every weapon. I take authority over every weapon. I take authority over every weapon in the name of Jesus. Over every weapon that is formed against me. I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority over every weapon in the name of Jesus. I take authority right now over every weapon against me, against my home, against my family. Over your mother and pray, open your mother and pray. I take authority over every power, over every forces that is standing against me. I take authority tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every forces, over every forces, over every power against my life, against my life. I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Amen. Look at what I've placed it. It says, let me read that to you again. It says, it says, and God blessed them. Mm. And God said unto them, mm. God said, it was the voice of God. You are going to use that word. I said, Lord, I receive your voice tonight. And I take authority. By your voice, I take authority. Over yes. every power, mm. over every forces standing against my life standing against my endeavors i take authority by your voice i take authority open your mother begin to take authority right now take authority right now 
by the voice of God, by the voice of God, by the voice of God, I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority over every lukewarmness. I take authority over every laziness. I take authority over every setback. I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Regalebo Mabragada Shandalaba. Yekerebo Shandalaba Baba Baba. Rakaba Baba Baba Shandalaba. Yekerebo Raw. I take authority right now. Over every power. Over every forces. By your voice. By the spoken word. From your mouth. You said. You said. The Bible says. You said unto them. They should be fruitful. And that dominion is what I have man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord I take authority tonight. Lord I take authority tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord I take authority tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord I take authority tonight. I take authority tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. We are going to pray and say, I declare multiplication over my life by the authority that God has given to me. Listen, that multiplication, whatever you want God to multiply in your life, begin to mention it. If you want God to multiply the position you are right now in terms of increase in terms of prosperity in terms of whatever spiritual growth spiritual growth if you want multiplication that's what it's not my word it's not my word you may think it's me it's not my word but this is the word of god and the word of god has said there is no word that proceeded out of the mouth of god it must accomplish that which it has sent it he said That's my right. words will not come back to me void if That's it is the mouth of god it must surely come to pass and that's why i, re- I read that place to you see he said and god blessed them and god said it was the mouth of god you are going to declare and look at what the bible says he said be fruitful and multiply that is the mouth of god you're going to say i declare multiplication by the mouth of god in today's congregation i declare multiplication into my life spiritually i declare multiplication into my destiny i declare multiplication into my finances i declare multiplication into my endeavors in the mighty name of jesus begin to declare begin to declare begin to declare tell god tell god tell god tell god God. Lord, I declare multiplication in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, multiplication is mine. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Tell God, I declare multiplication into my life. I am fruitful. I am multiplying in the name of Jesus. I am multiplying in the name of Jesus. I am multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. I am multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. In knowledge, I am multiplying. Spiritually, I am multiplying in every area of my life. I am multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. In the church, we are multiplying. We are multiplying by your power, by your word, 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 by your word. word. We are multiplying, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. We are multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. We are multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. We are multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. Up your mother and pray. We are multiplying. Lord, we are multiplying. Lord, we are multiplying. We are multiplying in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are multiplying in the name of Jesus. Father, we are multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. We are multiplying, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You are going to pray and say, Father, I take authority over every spirit dragging me back. I take authority over every forces dragging me back. I take authority over every witches and wizards over my life i take authority over them tonight open your mother and begin to pray open your mother and begin to pray father tonight i take authority i take my dominion over every power dragging me back every force is dragging me back 
every power drug in me back lord i take authority tonight in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority tonight in the mighty name of jesus father by your word in your word i take authority tonight in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority tonight over every power over every force that is dragging me back 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 that is dragging this ones back lord i take authority in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority over there in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority over there in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority over there in the mighty name of jesus father i take authority lord i take authority i take my authority in the mighty name of jesus i take authority in the mighty name of jesus i take authority in the mighty name of jesus i take authority in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority tonight 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 i take authority in the mighty name of jesus over every force over every power over every forces against my life against my life by your word of god i take authority tonight in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority tonight over every power over every forces lord i take authority tonight in the mighty name of jesus lord i take authority tonight thank you father in jesus mighty name we are praying amen we are going to remove stumbling blocks we are going to be removing stumbling blocks tonight we are going to see this is how we are going to pray you are going to release the fury angels from above to remove every stumbling block on my path to success on my path in my destiny every stumbling block guess what let me the spirit of god is just reminding me what happened when jesus was caged because i call it caged in the grave the bible said they rolled the big stone and who did it took or who did it take to take that stone away it took the fury angel you know why i say it took the fury angel because the bible says when the angel appeared mary looked and she could not even look at the face of that angel That's right. because the angel was fury he had right. he was glowing mm-hmm. the angel of god was glowing he took that kind of angel to re- remove that stumbling block mm-hmm. and jesus could not be stopped in the grave i'm mm-hmm. going to say it like this with the authority that you have if jesus could not be stopped in the grave no ah. thing is stopping you nothing is stopping your destiny nothing is stopping your success nothing is stopping your request whatever you have in your heart that you are trusting god for nothing is stopping you no stumbling block angels from above the fury angels i take authority right now i said you take them away roll those stones away up your mother and begin to pray up your mother and begin to pray if you cannot pray go and sleep go and sleep if you are here you cannot pray just go and sleep up your mother and begin to pray and say father everything that is done that is starting a stumbling block against me on my way in the mighty name of jesus lord angels from heaven angels from heaven roll them away roll them away fury angel from heaven roll them away in the mighty name of jesus roll them away in the mighty name of jesus roll them away in the mighty name of jesus roll them away in the mighty name of jesus fury angel from above fury angel from above, fill the angel from above, roll them away, 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 roll them away by the authority, by the power, by the authority and the power, by the dominion that I have in Jesus, by the dominion that I have in Jesus, you are rolled away in the name of Jesus, you are rolled away, you are rolled away, you are rolled away, you are rolled away, you are rolled away in the name of Jesus, every stone that is stopping me you are rolled away you are rolled away tonight in the name of jesus you are rolled away tonight in the name of jesus you are rolled away in the name of jesus you are rolled away tonight in the name of jesus every stone tumbling block every stone tumbling block roll the way roll the way roll the way roll the way
away. Roll them away. In the name of Jesus, begin to roll them away. Every storm stopping you. Every storm stopping you. Every storm stopping you. Roll the way. Every storm stopping you. Every storm stopping you. They are rolled away tonight. In the name of Jesus, I declare as the oracle of God, as the prophet of God, as the servant of the Most High, they are rolled away tonight. Every stumbling block. Every stumbling block. Every stumbling block. By the authority, by the power, by the authority of heaven, they are rolled away. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Amen. Jesus. The Bible says, And God said, Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. The good news is this. The good news is that God didn't stop there. Hmm. God didn't stop there. Amen. He said, and replenish the earth. You know what that means? That means you will fill the ground. You You will fill the earth. You You will fill the earth. Let me give you a typical example. Let me give you a typical example. Someone said something to my WhatsApp a few days ago. And it was Dan Gote in Nigeria. You will be so shocked that he has factory of cement in every part of Africa, all the countries in Africa. He has he has one one factory, one factory, one factory of cement. And now that guy is competing with Lafarge. Is competing with uh, the, the, the big names that are doing cement is competing with them. That's what, that's what it means to replenish the earth. That is, in fact, his own is still not there yet. His own is still not there yet. Let me give you a tip, another example that will shock you. And I'm sure, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not in Nigeria or some part of, but if you go to most part of the world, you will find McDonald's. You will find McDonald's That's in right. most parts of the mm-hmm. I don't know about Nigeria. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they have their own recipe. I don't know. But I know most part of the world. At least I can speak for all Europe. And I can speak for America and Latin America. In Brazil, I've seen it there. I've seen I've seen it. I've seen the adverts in uh, for America. That is what it means to replenish. So wherever you are, wherever you see your name is being mentioned. Mm. Let me tell you, let me let me give you a, a one that I know maybe you may be able to relate with. Even me, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, one of the ways that I know that I'm replenishing this earth, people that knew me before, that knew the Stephen that Stephen used to be before, now that they now get a glimpse of who I am now. They are appreciating God for my life. Not even in United Kingdom alone, but in Nigeria, where I've where I've not been for a long time. And someone called me just recently, and he said, "It was it's like a brother to me." He said, "Do you know that your name is all over the places in Lagos?" I said, "Ah, why?" I said, what happened? You say you don't you don't have an idea. And I have not I was not there. I was just saying your name is everywhere. It's just that just ask. Ah, say, ah, Pastor Stephen. Hey Pastor Stephen. Hey Pastor Stephen. That is what it means. When something, when God uses you for one particular thing, you just need one miracle, one signs and wonder, one 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 just one person, just pray for one person just one person that's all you need that's right just one person you don't need 10 people just one person and then you will see how replenishing you will be it is that person that will propagate look at that woman at the at, at, at the at the well of samaria mm. it was just that woman and he went into the city that's right to propagate to spread jesus mm. and that was the beginning of jesus's breakthrough mm. That was the beginning. 
the Mr. Biggs that I'm talking about, he started, he has failed, he had failed KFC, had failed several times, but just once it broke forth. There was a there was a stone of limitation that was blocking him, that was blocking oh, them. Yeah. You are gonna pray. You're gonna say, Lord, because you said to me that I should replenish the earth, because you have instructed me, you have given me dominion, you have given me authority to spread. Yes, Lord, Lord, tonight I am spreading in the mighty name of jesus tonight i am spreading tonight my seed are spreading my ministry is spreading in the mighty name of jesus my life is spreading i am touching life i am touching life testimonies are happening in the mighty name of jesus open your mother pray I am replenishing the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my ministry is replenishing the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I am replenishing. I am multiplying in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I receive that dominion. I receive that dominion. I receive that dominion. I receive that dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive that dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive that dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive that dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive that dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I'm replenishing. Tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I am replenishing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I am replenishing. Tonight, I receive authority. I receive authority. I receive authority. I receive dominion. I receive authority. I receive authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Beloved, we still have lots of prayer points to pray. So I want you to pray with all of your strength. And I feel in my strongly in my spirit that for someone tonight, you are going to share testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me give you a typical example. Let me give you a typical example. Just tonight, well, last night now, last night now, my wife was sharing a testimony with me. And the testimony didn't sink in my head. I didn't realize, uh, I, I could not understand what she was trying to say until tonight. And this is what I'm going to say now, and I'm sure she's listening. The Lord is saying, He is opening doors, 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 doors tonight. He is opening doors, and we are going to use that to pray. What she was sharing with me, she was God was connecting her. God is beginning to connect her now with people that she ordinarily you would not even imagine you would not even think oh, if i if i you know try to talk to this person you would not even listen to me but there's this divine connection and that is what dominion is all about that's right that is what dominion is all about that is what dominion is about and the same thing happened i know so many people so many churches may always try to reach some musicians and this one they'll say go to my admin go to this go to this and the same thing happened to Ross. I was just on my phone and I sent a message to this guy. He's a gospel musician in America. And I said to him, I said, I want you to come and, and minister for us in song. And I said, okay, that, that's fine. And, I, and I, I, I was asking, okay, what's going to happen? What's the modality? He said, well, you know, since, uh, you know, whatever we thought it, it's needful, we can do boy they are not forcing me so that is the connection that is the open door now the guy is coming next next month the first sunday in, in june things places that you think you cannot get to play people that you think you cannot meet hey when you have dominion That's when right. you when you are replenishing when you are when, when you have that word of god that says and god said and you hold on to that word 
and you hold on to that authority that God has given to you, grant will be opening for you. Grant will be open. There will be open doors. There will be open yes. doors. Where yes. things are becoming so hard for you, it will become so easy because of the word that you are holding. You are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, tonight, let there be open doors for me. Yes, By the yes, authority of your dominion, that you have decreed into my life let there be open doors everywhere that i've been caged lord i am coming out in the mighty name of jesus by the door by, by, by the power in your word by the power in your word lord i receive that authority for open doors for open doors for open doors come on i don't know who that is for tonight i don't know who that is for tonight pray 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 and talk to god lord open doors let there be open doors let there be Open doors. Let them 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 be open doors. In the name of Jesus. Let them be open doors. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be open doors. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. I declare. Tonight. Good doors. Open. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, tonight I declare every open door, every open door by the dominion of authority that I have, by the authority of God that I have. In the name of Jesus, I declare now open, 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 open tonight. In the name of Jesus, every door be open. In the name of Jesus, every door be open tonight. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Every door be open in the name of Jesus. Every door, because the authority I have, I have in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We're going to pray that prayer once again. We're going to pray. I don't know who that open doors is for tonight. We're going to pray that prayer tonight. We're going to pray that prayer again tonight. We're going to pray that prayer. Again. I don't know. I don't know. We have to pray that prayer again tonight. There must be open door. What the Holy Spirit is laying in my heart right now is this. It is only when you have a key to your house that you can open at any time, at any will, at any time, and nobody's going to stop you. And that's what we call dominion. It is only when you have a key to open a door, you have authority over the house. Nobody else can come and say you are badging into his own house or are saying you are intruding you are going to pray tonight lord i receive the key to my open doors i receive keys to my spiritual open door i receive key to my spiritual exploits i receive key to do great and mighty things for you i receive the key to do great and mighty things in ministry i receive key to do great and mighty things in life i receive the key oh god to open doors open your mouth and pray come on come on open your mouth and pray lord i receive the key i receive the key i receive the key i receive the key the key in the mighty name of Jesus to open doors. I receive keys in the name of Jesus. I receive the key to my open door in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the key in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the key in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the key in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the key in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the key in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Quickly, Amen. quickly, quickly, quickly. Psalm 24, Psalm 24, verse 6. I read. He said, This is the generation of them that seek him. You are the generation of, of people that seek God. And look at what happens to those generations. In verse number 7, it says, Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting door, that the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle? Lift up your head, O ye gates. He will lift them up, ye everlasting door, that the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. The first thing I want you to look at is in verse number six. He said, This is the generation of them that fear him. This is the generation of them that trust the Lord. And because you have the authority now, you are part of the generation of people. From Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, we say, And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. It only takes the gates that are 
that, that are lifted up that is not blocking your replenishment it only takes the gate that is not blocking your multiplication it mm. takes the gate that is being lifted up that your increase will not be, be limited i'm going to pray and say father every gate stopping me they are lifted every gate delaying me they are lifted every gate that is stopping me from increase they are, they are lifted they are lifted they are lifted every gate against my life every gate against my home every gate against my ministry every gate against my children every gate every gate they are lifted come on open your mind and pray every gate they are lifted they are lifted they are lifted tonight in the mighty name of jesus every gate come on come on come on come on come on come on open your mind and Every gate, every gate, every gate against my life, they are lifted tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka de mo shanda la ba, ma praga da shanda la ba, ya kada ba yiki de mo, ra kada ba yiki de mo. Lord, they are lifted tonight. Every door, every door, every door, every door, every door, every door, they are lifted. Why? Because I have the key. 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 I have the key. They are lifted. Every door. They are lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rakadaba Yekedebo Shandalaba. My brother Shandalaba Yekedebo. Rakababa Baba Shandalaba. Irakababa Baba Shandalaba Yekedebo. Lord, I take authority. Over every door. 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 Over every door, over every door, over every door, over every door, in the name of Jesus, they are lifted right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, they are lifted right now, in the name of Jesus, they are lifted right now, in the name of Jesus, they are lifted right now, thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we are free, amen. We are going to pray that prayer the second time, we're going to say, every doors, visible or invisible, Stopping me, limiting me, destroying my life that is causing errors in my life, physical or spiritual. I don't care who you are, I don't care who made you, I don't care how you got there. But all I know that tonight the Lord said, He has given me the dominion, He has given me the dominion, therefore, I use that power that power of dominion i yes. use it against you yes. you don't you are yes. destroyed tonight yes. you are destroyed tonight yes. you are destroyed tonight come yes. on your mother begin to pray open your mother begin to pray open your mother begin to pray tell god every door every door physical or spiritual lord i declare tonight they are lifted 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 in the name of jesus every door every door every door every door every door stopping me every door stopping me every door stopping me every door stopping my progress every door stopping my increase every door i declare you are lifted 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 in the name of jesus you are lifted in the name of jesus every door you are lifted in the name of jesus you are lifted in the name of jesus every door you are lifted in the mighty name of jesus every door i declare you are lifted tonight in the name of jesus tonight you are lifted in the name of jesus every door stopping my life every door delaying me every door delaying me you are lifted tonight in the name of jesus thank you father thank you father in jesus mighty name we are praying amen i don't know why this is coming to my heart i know this is another one this is another revelation this is another revelation we have to pray now we are going away from the doors we are going into the grave you are going to tell god i said lord every of my goodness every of my dominionship that has been buried that is inside the grave lord because you rose up from the grave they are rising up tonight they are rising up tonight 
they are rising up to now. Every of the things you have promised me, every of my goodness that is buried, they are released tonight. They are released tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Tell God, Lord, tonight, they are released. They are released. They are released in the grave. They are released in the grave. From the grave. From the grave. Every power that is holding them down in the grave, you are released. You are released. My goodness are released. In my increase are released. My dominionship are released. In the name of Jesus. They are released 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh, I declare to now. Over every soul, whatever you are trusting God for, they are released tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. They are released tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. They are released tonight. In the name of Jesus. They are released tonight. In the name of Jesus. They are released tonight. In the name of Jesus, they are released now. In the name of Jesus, they are released now. In the name of Jesus, they are released now. In the name of Jesus, they are released now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. This is another revelation. This is another revelation. For someone else, I'm going to pray. I say, Lord, every disgrace that is ahead of me, they are cancelled right now. You are not going to be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are not going to be disgraced. Tell God and say, Father, every disgrace in front of me, they are cancelled right now. They are cancelled right now. They are cancelled right now. Open your mind and begin to pray. Open your mind and begin to pray. I am not going to be disgraced. I am not going to be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I am not going to be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every disgrace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I declare. Tonight, I will not be put to shame. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray that prayer a second time. We're going to say, Lord, every financial disgrace are waiting to disgrace me. Lord, I'll pass them tonight. Lord, I'll pass them tonight. I'm not going to be disgraced financially. I am not going to be disgraced financially. I am not going to be disgraced financially. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mother pray. Open your mother pray. Come on, open your mother pray. Open your mother pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not going to be financially disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not going to be financially disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm not going to be financially disgraced. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let me be specific. Let me be specific. This is what the Holy Spirit is laying in my heart. I think someone kept money in your hand. Someone kept money in your hand. Someone kept money in your hand. You are going to pray. I said, Father, I'm not going to be disgraced. Even if you have spent that money, even if you have spent that money, the Lord Almighty will provide for you. You will not be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. Let us pray together. I said, Father, even if it is not up yet, even if someone is going to come and give you money and borrow you money and keep money in your hand, tell God, I said, Lord, I'm not going to be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not going to be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. I am not going to be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I will not be disgraced to God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I'm being fast now. I'm fast now. We are going to pray and say, Father, spiritually, I will not be disgraced. Spiritually, in my ministry, in my work with you, in my work with you. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain better. Let me explain better. You may think you don't have a church. You may think you are not a pastor. You may think you are not a, 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 an evangelist. You may think you are not a servant of God. But you, if you say you are a believer, you can be disgraced when you die and you do not go to heaven. That's a big disgrace. But God has given you that authority to have dominion. And that's why you're going to pray. You're going to pray your way to heaven. You are not going to die now. 
But what I'm saying is you are going to keep in sync with God. You are going to walk with God. You are going to be in right standing with God. You are not going to be dismissed. You know what it's going to be like? Devil is going to punish you extra. If he mm. finds out that you that you are good, we are preaching, you that you are saying, if I even if you are not preaching, even if you are not preaching, you are here tonight, and you are hearing that I'm telling you that God has given you the authority to subdue. God mm-hmm. has given you, and you are here, you are jumping, you are jumping, you are making your your deal you subdue, you are subdued. And at the end of the day, devil has your head under. It's going to be a big yeah. error. You are going to pray and say, Father, this grace is far from me. Spiritual right. disgrace is far from me. That's Open right. your mind, I'm going to pray and talk to God. That's Open right. your mind, I'm going to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the every area of my life, Lord, I will not be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against disgrace in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be disgraced, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be disgraced, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray this prayer. As we go into this new way, we are going to begin to take authority. The Lord, as I go, I go your power of authority. I go your power of dominion. I go your power of increase. I go your power of multiplication. In every phase of my life, I take authority. I go in your wisdom. I go in your authority. I go in your dominion. I go in subduing. Open your mind and begin to pray. Open your mind and begin to pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. And say, Lord, even as I go in this new week of God, Lord, I go in your authority. In the mighty name of Jesus, I go in your mercy. I go in your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I go in your authority. I go to the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything I do, everything I touch, everything I touch, everything I touch, everything I touch will be blessed. Everything I touch will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything I touch will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. As I go in this way, in the mighty name of Jesus, I go in this new month, in your power, 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 I your power. In your grace, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Before we go, this is another prayer that I want us to pray. We're going to say, Sorrow will be far from me as I go in this week. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, ah, yes, sorrow Lord. will not come close to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I go as from today, sorrow will not come close to me. Up your mother, I'm begging to pray. 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 Says, Lord, as I go in this way, Lord, sorrow will be far from me. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sorrow will be far from me. This in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because I carry the authority of God. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Because I carry the authority of God. Lord, I declare. Lord, I declare. Lord, I declare. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sorrow will be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray for your family before we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I want to pray for your family. Everyone that is here, every one of you that you are here, this is a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity. We are going to pray. This is how you are going to pray. You are going to say, Every forces against my family, I execute judgment over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I execute judgment over you. Every forces against my family that is standing against my wife, that is standing against my husband, that is standing against my children, that is standing against my home. I execute judgment over you tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every power against my family, against my family, against my home, I execute judgment. I execute judgment. I execute judgment. In the mighty name of 
judgment. Judge 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 judge
thank you heavenly father we give you all the glory in jesus mighty name we are free amen may we say the grace in fellowship the grace of the lord jesus christ love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen thank you for coming and god bless you we are sorry for going beyond time and i know it's worth it god bless you good night bye for now